Hello everyone. I hope you are all doing well today. This is Raymond Johnstone reporting once again. My uh, weekly check-in, I guess. <laughs> it has become somewhat of a scheduled thing, which I really like, I feel. It, it, it feels a lot to me like it's becoming habit, which is definitely a good thing. Um, I apologize for the traffic in the back background. I hope it doesn't bother everyone too much. So, what I'd, what I'd like to talk about today is actually just something very uh, close to home for me. As usual, of course. I don't really tend to talk about things that aren't. Um, it's motivation. And there's been numerous things out there, quotes and so on and so forth, that have been said that are very apt to motivation. Something, oh, one of them that a friend of mine uses actually is um, what motive. I'm not going to be able to quote it exactly, but it goes something to the effect of motivation is something that needs to happen daily because well, we all lose motivation. Um, in our in our projects and our day to day life and you know uh, we we tend to kind of lose sight and that's that's one of the reasons that it's always good to give yourself uh, a, like a motivational booster shot basically um, one of the avenues that I've found um, that really helps with that is within within my tribe and within my nation um, in, in relation to uh, a seminar that I recently went to called Warrior Power. But one of the other areas that I that I do find motivation in is just just kind of remembering that you know I am worth it and that I can do it um, whatever it is that that I've set myself to do, so whatever, whatever, whatever project it is in particular that I'm feeling demotivated in, and it's always good to keep that in mind. It's always good to sort of just come back to that and, and refresh your mind and your your resolution um, towards your goal. And always, always see the light at the end of the tunnel, kind of thing. More particularly, um, another another thing within motivation is like how easy and how hard stuff is. Um, something that a lot of people I've found, and definitely within myself as well, I've found that you know it it feels a lot of the time like if something's not hard enough, then then it's not then it's then it's cheating kind of thing. Um, this is not true. I'd like, I'd like to make this very clear. I'd like to make this very clear, very clear for myself, and I'd like to make this very clear for other people as well. Is that if you're doing something and you feel like it's too easy, you need to cancel that thought. You need to get that thought out of your mind. If you're focusing on things being hard, they will be hard because you're only going to get what you focus on. And vice versa, when, when you do recognize that something is hard, don't, don't, dismiss it the, don't dismiss it the same way. Like Just realize that some things will be hard as well. Some things do need to be driven for. Some things do require a hellish amount of resolution to to accomplish and that that's that's a really important thing to keep in mind as well is like I'll just take sort of a piece out of my life right now I recently launched with a with another person a a, a teespring project and teespring very simply is a crowdsourcing project directly um, utilizing shirts so basically, you come up with a slogan or an idea or whatever, and 
you put it onto the shirt and you launch your campaign and you market it, right? Uh, and the idea is that as, as the shirts sell and if they meet your particular, your, your, your deadline in terms of the amount of units that, that get sold, um, then you, you, get a, you get a crowdsourcing boost. You get some financial capital out of it. So it's a crowd, crowdsourcing method um, that's been used pretty widely, believe it or not. But something that I recently encountered is that we, me and another person, launched a campaign together, and it was it was very easy. She, well, I I believe, anyways, on my part, it was very easy. She, she the the other person that I'm working with, you know, kind of wrote the text up, and it was very motivational. Uh, text and I kind of touched base with her and said I'd like to put this into a crowdsourcing campaign and you know w we did but but like not even a day later I received a message from her saying basically that she felt like it was a failure because it it hadn't sold immediately the amount of units that 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 I had designated it should sell and so she felt that it was a failure, but the reality is that it runs for a considerable amount more time than just one day, and will likely require, you know, a, a little more work than I guess she was maybe expecting to put into it. So, so you know, you kind of got the just like everything in reality, you've kind of got the two ta two spectrums of. Of when you're attempting to accomplish a goal, you know, keep in mind when something feels really easy that it's okay for it to be easy to 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 accomplish it. But at the same time, when something is hard, you know, like uh, do those things that are hard. And just because they're challenging doesn't mean that they're not worthwhile. Anyways, I've I've gone on a little longer than I intended to. So um, yeah, I hope I hope these words will kind of help someone uh, and I know they'll help me in terms of coming back to and watching watching this video again. Thank you. This is Raymond Johnstone checking out. Have an excellent week.